Yes, it's true. AMD hates me so much they sent this 6800 XT to kill the motherboard that got me famous in the first place. This motherboard is responsible for fixing too many NVIDIA GPUs. Why don't you take a red pill and relax? Yes, swallow it deep. Now let's get out of here before you realize your motherboard is dead. Hello Internet. Today we have this 6800 XT in for repair. Customer stated something that I cannot remember very clearly, so I'll just go straight into the lazy diagnostic process using this device and see what we find. According to the Empress Discard polls, it seems to work, so it's safe to plug it into the motherboard and see if it produces a picture. Card does not produce a picture, so I took the HDMI cord and plugged it into the motherboard instead so I can run a memory test. But the motherboard is refusing to boot. Not sure why that is. Resistances on the main power looks good. Data, clock and reset pin looks fine. And when I tried it on my other motherboard, the motherboard stopped working. I thought maybe memory went bad or the BIOS got corrupted or something, but no, the board is now dead. Thanks AMD. So now we have a GPU assassin that travels the world, killing every motherboard it comes in contact with. I am dying wanting to take it apart and see if someone planted some kind of an EMP device inside of it. Okay, I did not find anything abnormal, so I started checking for resistances, which by the way all looked normal. Then I checked for voltages, suspecting a high voltage feeding back into the motherboard, but I didn't find that either. The only thing to do at this point is to try again and see if it works, because I find absolutely nothing wrong with it. Nope. Black screen. Motherboard refuses to boot, and we're back to square one. I even tried to look for abnormalities using thermal camera, but no, everything is looking as normal as it gets. So the very last thing on my mind, and I mean the very last would be to reflash the BIOS chip. Okay, so I took the chip out of the board and read it, and I found that it is flashed with Sapphire BIOS. So I dug around for AMD BIOS, flashed that instead, put the chip back on the board, and bam! It works! Even the memory test passed. Anyway, Special thanks to AMD enthusiasts out there flashing their AMD cards with random garbage, not even realizing the damage it can do not only to your GPU itself, but to your whole system. I myself have never heard of a GPU flashed with the wrong BIOS can kill a motherboard, and I bet I'm not alone. In any case, card does work, and the only issue I have with it is that it's a bit too high on the hotspot. I'm guessing the original carbon pad was long gone, and whoever did it, forgot to put in nylon spacers to compensate for lack of clearance. As you can see, it did help quite a bit, but we're still over 20 on Delta. That's typical for AMD, so we can all ignore that. It constantly runs at its peak high temperatures so that it would die sooner. It's all by design. And there we have it. The story of this AMD killing my old motherboard is over. My question now is, what exactly is dead? Motherboard or the CPU? I took a CPU from my other board, but I'm not 100% sure it's compatible, because this is a slightly older board. But it behaves exactly the same, so I guess it doesn't matter. I suspect that the hub is toast, but I have no way of testing it, so I'll just order another board. And this repair will have to pay for it, because even though this board is not the latest and greatest, it is still pretty pricey for whatever reason. In any case, that's it for this repair. Hope you've learned not to flash your GPU with anything other than the stock BIOS, or maybe you learned something else. In which case, let me know in the comment section below. Goodbye.